to use a shaper to uh, work on its own casting. Don't have uh, the automatic feed, which is usually pretty nice. Especially where you're using uh, a rough casting, I really find the shaper does a nice job. You can walk away from it, do something else in the shop while it works at a nice steady feed. And that tool bit, you know, dirt cheap, easy to sharpen, keeps you from wear, doing wear and tear on your end mills. So really handy tool to have. I don't get to walk away from it at this point with uh, the hand feed, but you know, whatever. So I'll go finish it up and show you what we get at the end of that process. Finished uh, one side. Um, with manual feed and here's an idea of the sort of surface finish that you get you'll notice here on we've got this lip here when it's going the full length and it's really throwing uh, steel especially with that mass it'll fly up against that but here's an idea of the surface finish that you get a little bit of oil marring from uh, the chip brush but very, very nice surface finish. Um, very nice. That's one of the advantages of the shaper. So flip it over and do the other side and then uh, put it in the copy mill.